Now, before anybody gets angry with me, let me tell you what I've been doing the last uh, two days or so, which is why I haven't made a video. Today is, should be, Monday, January 9th? It is. 2023, it is 6.21 p.m. in my locale. I got home about mm, 10 minutes ago. Okay. Uh, I told you my company wants me to get a particular license. It is a Florida boating certificate. I don't technically need it, but the company wants me to get it. It's free. So I've been spending time while I've been at work trying to get this certificate and studying and taking the quizzes all online. The last two days, we have had houseboats come in, get rented, and leave. And they go, today, they're here, tomorrow, they're back out again. We're having a staffing issue with our captains, who are the only ones that are licensed to move the vessels. It's either that or my marina manager, who is off Sunday and Monday. So I have spent the last two days either doing one of two things. Well, one of three things. Number one, helping prepare these houseboats. Number two driving a chase boat now captain jack strapper would probably say what that you're driving a boat yep um getting closer to pirate every day and number three running bayside tours we ran two yesterday well we took a houseboat out no i'm sorry that was not yesterday day before we had Two houseboats moored out in Coot Bay, which meant we had to, me, take the pontoon boat, which is a bigger boat, pulls about eight people, take it out, load the cargo, take it back. They were riding on their own vessels. Then I had to take that boat, tie it up, take another boat, and then go back out with the captain, get that boat, take it back in. Then we got back on the chase boat, we went back out, got the other boat, brought it back in. Then we went out one more time where the guests were already there. We grabbed that boat, brought them in, and then we had about four minutes to get from what we were doing to jump on the big boat to go out on the bay. Twice. So I got home yesterday. I was walking in the dark. This morning I got up. I uh, put my 30 minutes into uh, my test to do what I needed to do and, you know, trying to study, get it done. Once that got finished, run to work, and we did it again. I took care of one of the houseboats. That's going out tomorrow. Had to go run out. Uh, had to run chase boat again. Ran back out. Got somebody else. Took them out again. This time we weren't retrieving them. We were taking them out. So I was riding on the very close starboard side of those boats as they went out. Because what I would do is when the captain just waved me on, I would just nudge the boat into position. Do it. He'd jump on the deck. And I'd let him drive all the way back. No problem. A lot of practice time, but a lot of fun. So, like I said, I'm doing it the whole time. I'm thinking, well, Jack, you were talking about being a pirate. I'm not wearing a hat, but I'm getting a little closer every day. I'm going to put that here. I am going to skip our obligatory uh, rune pull and everything else. I'm just going to give you a case of... Yeah. Been a good boy the last couple of days. He's been sleeping on my hip while I've been studying for this, I know, exam. Uh, it's not going to be a problem. I'm going to get it, and I don't have to recertify once I get it. I'm good for life. The other one's called the livery test, and when I get that one, I already got that. But it's only good for 90 days. I have to take a full test. Once I get that, then it's all done, and it's good forever. I think it's Either forever or five years. I can't remember which. But it's good for a good long time. Still costs a zero. It's just a little little skull sweat time. So that's why I've been doing videos in the morning. Because I have been in study mode. And I have been trying to take care of that as fast as I can. I want that off of my plate. Um, the boating certificate, like I said, it's, just, it's a four hour course. If I sat down for four solid hours, I would do it. But I'm taking it in like 20, 30 minute chunks. So, because I just don't have the time. And then tomorrow I go back to the back countryside. And we're going to see how that runs, right? I don't know which captain I'm with. We have a new captain who's just starting. We're getting him started. That's going to be, I'll make things a lot easier. Once we have three captains, 
that's going to make things a lot easier because that means we'll have at least two captains on at any point in time, moving houseboats, taking tours, what, whatever that means. So we're excited about that. So I am I tired? Yes. Oh, I don't even know what I want to eat for dinner tonight. Um, am I smiling? Yes. It is a lot of fun to be able to safely practice using a vessel in your own backyard. You know, the nice part is I know where all the shallow spots are. And unless I hit a tree, nothing's going to happen. And I can't really get lost. Yeah, I got a GPS on the boat. Yeah, I got a compass on But I, I can't get lost. I mean, even when I get out to Coot Bay, there's, there's no way for me to get lost. Right? Because just turn the boat around, look for the channel marker, and come back. It's not hard. But that is the explanation I am giving you. I am good. I am smiling ear to ear. I'm having a good time. Just a little tired. Did I see crocodiles today? Yes, I did. Um, let's see. I saw the big male, Fred. Okay, he was laying his head on his traditional space, and laying next to him was a female. The female usually sits on top of the rocks. She made Fred move so she could get up and sit on the rocks, and I walked past her on the way home tonight. I just nicknamed her Emily because I don't have any other name to give her. So I just walked over. I saw her tail when I was walking. I didn't know which way she was laying, so I gave her a little bit of space. Walked over, saw her face, and said, Hey, Emily, how are you? Just going home. How you doing, girl? And she blinks, and as far as I'm concerned, that's as good as, Yeah, you're fine. I was talking to somebody else, and if there's one thing I wish, I would wish that all of you who are watching me could be having this particular experience. Because it's a lot of fun. I'm pretty sure a couple of you be afraid, don't be afraid. But it's fun. It is an absolute blast. You know, in studying for the boating course... Uh... You know, some of it I know, some of it I don't. Some of it's minutia. And it's a lot of work for something that I technically don't need, but my company wants me to have. And as I said to you guys before, if I get a certification, it's mine. Which means I can carry it anywhere in the state of Florida. And most states have a reciprocal clause. So those types of licenses, the boating certificates, for example, another state will honor them. So if I took it to Mississippi and I showed them my boater certificate from Florida, they would honor it. They would say, okay, you've had a boater safety course. You've had a, you have a boating certificate. You, we honor this. And I would not have to be registered unless I became a Mississippi resident, for example. So I'm hoping all of you are doing well. I'm going to now uh, think about feeding queso. I'm going to give him a, a chance. He went out. He went in. And I have no idea what I'm having for dinner. Absolutely none. But I can tell you it's about 78 degrees going back down to 67 tonight. Which is beautiful for me because that means it's open windows time. And I will... I think I'll slack off on my studies tomorrow. So I can do a video for you guys tomorrow. So if you got anything you want to say, put it in the comments. If you got anything you want, put it in the comments. If you want to talk about something, put it in the comments. Uh, I've already gotten enough jokes from Kenny Chesney's pirate flag. And, oh my gosh, he's a pirate now. I've, I've already gotten enough of those. So you, you can pepper me all you want because you're my tribe. At the exact same time, I wish you were here. You could get behind that wheel and you could do that. I'm going to go figure out what's for dinner. And I will see you guys later. Again, thank you for your forbearance that I have been spending the last 48 to 72 hours in study mode. And practice mode. And fun mode. I'll talk to you in the morning.